Hi guys, Mitch King with Trade Stocks America for the Thursday morning, March 4, 2010 daily stock report. The Dow had basically a slight change today, a little bit on the downside after exceeding yesterday's high of the February 19th high. Here's the NASA composite approaching that high that we had again in January. So this will be the next area to watch for it to break through to that, which be a very good bullish sign. Let's take a look at a wider view of this NASDAQ over the past 15 months. And you can see this drop right in here is just could be a continuation of any other type of correction that we've had each one of those. And it's always scary to try to figure out if this one's the one that we don't go up anymore and go further down. And that was when people start calling for the sky is falling and you always see analysts and journalists say different things. but it's still a little early to tell, but we have recovered most of that drop from the January and February. Now here's the 15-month view of the S&P 500, which looks essentially the same. Not quite as strong as the NASDAQ composite because the tech stocks have been strong, as typically it has for the last year. So here we're zooming in on the S&P 500 on the daily chart. So you want to change your settings to look at, have different views on it, both when you're looking at a swing or a longer term trade, as well as an intraday trade as well. Let's cover a handful of stocks. Here's Toyota Motors, stock symbol TM. Nice pop today for Toyota, up 3.5%. Exceeded that mid-February number, so we just started breaking through, and this is really what we needed to start getting the stock into that low 80s figure. And this is a longer term hold. It could last for a couple months, but looking a lot better today after struggling. And you always see stocks with a lot of volatility at the bottom in the midst of all that doom and gloom that everyone was giving it, especially the uh, chairman and grandson of the founder in front of the congressional committee. So it always looks bad there, and that's when, that's when it's best to buy when there's chaos and you want to be selling when everyone's happy and congratulating themselves for how smart they are. So you always keep an eye and forecast what the stock's going to do, even when you're in trouble with the stock or stock positions. When you're really upset, just focus on what you think the stock's going to do. Here's NUVA, Nuvasive. It's not acting good as a bull short, so I would consider getting out of that as a short swing, but it still can be looked at as an intraday scalping stock. I think it's losing its pattern to be able to do something reliably. It has given three days of shorts on an intraday scalping. This one is tougher on Nuva because it had a move up a little bit later after a couple hours, so that didn't follow the typical pattern of doing that in the first opening right at the opening. Let's take a look at several days of history and you'll see that same pattern right here in the last two days. And this one really isn't quite the same. Must have had some sort of good news. I pretty much ignored the stock today myself. And for a bull short, we really should be seeing this stock coming down in here to be acting normal. So it's not doing that. So that's why I'd say to cover that short position, it's very likely this stock's going to go up but that's not a tradable comment to start buying long. The odds still aren't good enough to go long or to short. It's really start a time to look for something else. And maybe you watch the stock to learn a little bit to follow through how your original thoughts were about the stock would do and what it actually did. So constantly review your trades both on intraday and swing and intermediate trades. Always review what it is that you decide to do today or yesterday or a week ago on your stocks and review them every night. That's how you're going to learn quite a bit. I have that same routine myself every night, even though it's really late at night. Here's AEA, Advanced America's turning over. Looks like a little bit more downside, maybe a half point of 550. Nice little profit on the short side. And this is the stock that we've tried the first time. It went up a little higher, got stopped out on this. First shorted right there, a little bit of profit, got stopped out right there, and now it's turning over. It's probably going to get down here 550, 560. Nice little 10 or 12 percent profit on the short side. Here's CMTL, stock we've had for probably a couple weeks on the long side. Nice uptrend here. Short term guys will probably start looking at selling this. 
longer term hold. Here's first solar. Not really liking how this is acting yet so far. It, it's gradually coming up, but this stock can be really explosive both on the upside and the downside, but it's already come down from 142 down to $100. So that 40% haircut in the last six weeks is a kind of helps improve our odds that this is this stock's going to move up. Try to be careful with this. Keep your stops on this one. This should be okay to move up, but it's off to a real slow start. So you guys know the routine. Take care. Don't get too heavy. Wait for the good ones. Put the odds in your favor, and we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Yeah.